So ChatGPT4 came out yesterday, and let me just tell you, it's way better than a human at prospecting, DMing, cold outreach if you're trying to get clients. My mind's actually a little bit blown. It's like completely taken my brain out of the process when I'm trying to create pitches for people. And it's way better than I thought it would be. I'm gonna show you in this video exactly how it works, what I've been putting in it, exactly what the things I'm saying to certain clients as well. So you can get an idea and you can use it for yourself as well. Now, when it comes to prospecting, you want to send as many DMs as possible, but also like high quality DMs as well. So that's a problem because they're both on the opposite sides of the spectrum. One is automated and the other is highly tailored. One is fast but low quality. One is high quality, but very, very slow to tailor a DM, to read through the person's profile, particularly if they might never respond as well. So it's kind of like potentially low reward and very time consuming. ChatGPT speeds up the process for creating tailored DMs. Let's show you how it does it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna look at my notifications and I'm just gonna pick a few random people from my notifications to pitch them, okay? So let's have a look at Vitaly's. I'm sure I spoke to Vitaly before actually. So I'm having a little look on Vitaly's profile here and I can see that he's a business development manager. Um, he was a chief innovation officer He's been in software, it looks like. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pitch Vitaly Facebook adverts services, right? So to do Facebook adverts for him in whatever he's doing. And I'm gonna get ChatGPT4 to actually basically create that DM for me, that cold DM, okay? So let's go for it. So I'm gonna tell ChatGPT4, first of all, I'm gonna say, I am going to copy and paste. So I've written here, I'm going to copy and paste information from a LinkedIn profile to you. I want you to create a tailored DM for them starting a conversation with the intent of later pitching and Facebook advertising services. Do you understand? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy information off Vitaly's profile here. Sorry Vitaly if you're watching this video, but um, you are my puppet today. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click see more on these bits here so I can copy the full piece of information in. Okay, so this is all we need. This is all we need to know. So experience, all right, boom, okay. So here it is, right? I've copy and pasted it in there. It's now reading it through. It's worked out that Vitaly is correctly in AI and it's saying enhancing your AI solutions with Facebook advertising. I hope this message finds you well. I recently came across your impressive LinkedIn profile. I must say your experience in the AI industry and your involvement in various innovative projects really caught my attention. As a business development manager at quantum underscore inc it's evident that you have strong focus i couldn't help but notice that with your diverse portfolio of projects and companies it might be an opportunity to expand your reach even further have you considered leveraging facebook advertising so this is brilliant it's amazing that i actually managed to come up with this however it's a little bit too long so i'm going to tell uh, gpt4 to rewrite this and make it a bit shorter make it shorter because messages that are too long don't get read. So it's went in there and it's just cut it down to four lines. Now that's kind of the other end of the spectrum. So I want it just a little bit more, a bit more rewarding, a bit more compelling. That's good, but make it a bit more compelling and rewarding because you see this is, it, it's went from like a highly complex message to more of like a plain Jane message. Okay. So something like this, you could copy in and try out that message. Cause now we're kind of in the middle. And it's got a bit of flowery language in, which personally I don't really like, but I still feel like if you send out 10 of these, you're probably gonna get one or two responses, positive responses. So that's the first way to do it. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna pretend we've come across one of those situations. We're gonna use Fiona here, it's one of my connections. We're gonna use Fiona's profile here and pretend that you know it's one of those profiles with not much information on it, where it's really, really hard to actually create a tailored pitch. So what we're gonna do next is pretend all of this is blank and we're actually gonna go over to um, Fiona's activity here and we're gonna copy and paste some of her um, information into ChatGPT, okay? So I'm gonna just start a new conversation with this just because I want it to be from a, black, a blank slate. Yes, I understand. Oh, actually I can just edit this one here. I'm gonna copy and paste um, information from a person's LinkedIn posts to you posts to do you understand yes okay so I just edited that that's a great thing about chat gpt as well you can edit previous conversations as well. so it's taken out all of the knowledge which it's had uh, since then okay so fiona's here post one i'm just going to make it obvious to this person post one post two post two we're just going to go with two posts for now just because it's quite long okay 
So we'll see what it says. Recently came across your LinkedIn post was struck by your insights on progress over perfection, finding ways to psychology, to psychologically risky uh, tasks feel safer. Your conversation with the woman of the bus. So this is a super tailored message, guys. If you were going to prospect across a person's LinkedIn profile and then post, it will take you a long time. And this just spits it out, right? So now let's make this shorter. Make this shorter, as longer DMs don't get read. Okay. Hi, Fiona. Loved your post about progress over perfection and coach. Your Wayfinders program for HR has caught my eye. And I'm curious to know if you've considered. It's literally picked out. Get this, guys. It's literally picked out that she's selling uh, a, a program in here. And it's tailored the fact I want to offer Facebook advertising to it. Um, and I'm curious to know if you've considered Facebook advertising to expand its reach. If you're open to discussing our fit, do you, do you like that? Is, I didn't, I've not even read those posts, but um, if we control left this, I'm sure we'll be able to find Wayfinders and see where it's, see where it's come up with this. If you're interested in joining my leadership, so it's understood this. This is huge, right? Because it's just read the text and identified this information. Okay, now I'm going to go to a random dental practice in NYC and I'm going to uh, copy the about section into it to also start a conversation, but I'm going to let it know what I'm doing. I'm going to copy and paste information from a website about page to you. I want you to create a t tailored email for them starting with, do you understand? Okay. Yes, I understand. Great. So we've come over to 209 NYC Dental here. Okay. I'm going to copy and paste this in. We're just going to copy and paste some of this information. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So we just we just copied and pasted this information in. All right. Let's see what it comes up with. There's a lot of information here. Intentional exceptional dental practice with Facebook advertising service. I hope this email finds you well. My name is and I recently came across your website while searching for reputable dental practices. I am genuinely impressed with the exceptional care and services you provide to your patient. The glowing review, state of the art technology, and dedication to patient satisfaction truly set blah 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 apart in dental areas. As a professional specialising in digital marketing, I want to reach out. So this is highly tailored again. I believe that you could benefit from targeted Facebook ads to a broader audience and attract new patients in Manhattan and beyond. Do you see how tailored this is? It's literally picked out like the specifics, it's picked out their location, it's picked out what they do, their testimonials, the services they offer. I would love the opportunity to discuss advertising, how advertising could help you reach new heights in patient acquisition and engagement. If you're open to exploring this possibility, please let me know. Okay, so make it shorter and use simpler language. I hope you're well. My name is Rob and I specialize in digital marketing. I was impressed by your dental practices, excellent care and services when I visited your website. I want to ask if you thought about Facebook advertising. Facebook ads can target specific audience and cost effective. If you would also provide, all right, so it's much simpler language, much shorter. Now I'm going to see if we can see if, uh, don't mention digital marketing as this can put off the prospect straight away. So see if it understands the task here. I was truly impressed by the exceptional care and services your dental practice offers. Have you considered using Facebook advertising to expand your reach and attract new patients? Facebook ads can target specific audience and are cost effective. So this has created another tailored DM. Do you see how crazy this is? It's taken out the tough part of prospecting where you're scratching your head and you're thinking, oh, I need to start a conversation with this person, but I just don't know how to do it. Just using these prompts, it's completely free. Feel free to use them yourself. I have managed to, come up with three tailored, well actually more than that, four, five, six tailored DMs to these people. Some are long, some are short, and I've just reprompted to tweak little bits to get it basically to the level of satisfaction that I want to, which is saving me a lot of time and a lot of energy. I remember when I used to manually prospect with tailored DMs and like after about 10 of them, I've started to reach the point of decision fatigue where I'm like, I can't quite work out what to say to this person here. I need to go and take a break, right? Because it's cognitively demanding to do. With this, I've not even used any of my brain other than asking ChatGPT4 to, to write and tell me exactly what it needs. And if we look on the ChatGPT4 website, we can see that GPT4 is more creative and collaborative than ever before. It can generate, edit, and iterate with users on creative tasks and technical writing. It can come up with longer texts, right? So. The amount of times where I've had an email from a client or a person who's very interested in my service and they've sent me like this giant email, which is like three or four pages long. They've, I've, they could have sent me documents over, hey Rob, will you please review these before your proposal? And I'm like, I haven't really got time to review a 30 page document 
to just come back and say, yes, I can help you, or this is how I would help you. And not knowing if the person would even sign up with me anyway. So it, it's like a hard, long, time-consuming task. But GPT-4 can handle 25,000 words of text, allowing for use cases like long-form content creation. To put that into context, I think the average book length is around about 75,000 words. The average, like, 200, 250-page book is around about 75,000 words. So if it can have a third of a book, right? You can copy all sorts of information. And the best thing about it is it can take into consideration all the parts at once whilst coming up with an answer. This is how ChatGPT4 can turbocharge you as a person, as a worker, as a business owner. Because you've got this limited space in your brain and sometimes I'll read text, I'll read like a few different pieces of information. I've got it like correlate it together. And I think to myself at the end, like I can't, I can't quite remember what it said on the first page there or the third line is that relevant we're gonna have to go back and review that and it takes really long time but with chat gpt4 it can just keep all of that information in its brain at once and output it whilst considering all of the knowledge that it currently knows this is insane this is really really game changing guys i hope you can see that because we're gonna see some crazy crazy changes coming up in the world just because of things like this as well i imagine it's gonna at some point not only help with other technology and further other advances along, but I imagine it's going to help in like the medical field and things like this. Imagine if you are now not speaking to a tired doctor who's massively overworked, but you're now speaking to ChatGPT 4 or 5 in the future, and you can send it a picture of exactly, you know, the rash you've got, or you describe exactly how you've been feeling throughout the night and where it hurts on your body and how long it's hurt and basically get it to do all these things for you. And it can output, I think it's maybe A, B or C, taking out the doctor's need for this, which benefits the doctor as well, because we all know they're overworked. So I think this is huge, huge, huge advances in any type of field. Um, and I'm very, very excited. I hope you guys are too. Anyway, have a great one. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow my channel at the moment. Uh, take care. See you in the next one.